You know, these days it's really hard to avoid the conversation topic, which is what defines a man in today's society? Now, some people might say money, like Wes Watson, and some people have their own opinions as well. My opinion is somewhere in between, but in this video, we're gonna take a look at a recent Fresh and Fit live discussion talking about what defines success for a man. Now, you may know him, you may not. You might have even seen one of the videos that I made referring to Wes Watson, and trust me when I say, as much as I believe that you could learn from just about anyone, there are some things that are just the little, uh, well, we'll let the video talk for itself. Okay, okay. <laughs> In my definition of success is across the board. If you're not ripped, if you're not rich, if you ain't rare, if you don't stand out, if you ain't across the board successful, it doesn't mean fucking to me. If you got straight tits and you're in your Rolls Royce, you look like a fucking clown to me. I'm just laughing at your dumb fucking ass. But this is the whole fucking point. You have a weakness. Change it, motherfucker. How the fuck are you going to lead people if you don't realize your weakness is their way out? They're not going to listen to you. You're sitting there possessing shit that they don't want to have. So, I mean, this is what people say. Oh, it's not about the money. It's about family, Wes. It's about this, about that. Motherfucker, when you're making money, it's about the money. When it's family, it's about family. When you're at the gym, it's about muscle. Whatever you're doing, it's about that. There's no black and white life. It's the gray area. You have to be good at everything. I can agree with that. From a, now granted, this is probably like one of West's very few points and perspectives that are somewhat valid, but I think what he's saying here is pretty potent. I mean, what he describes as success being something that encompasses all areas, there is some validity to that. You know, like what good is it to, first of all, money is just a tool, right? It's not designed to make you happy. It's not designed to, you know, help with your emotions or anything of that sort. It's simply a tool to help you acquire assets, make investments, provide, protect, et cetera, et cetera. So when he talks about being good in all areas, I think that's particularly important. Moving the money to the side though, when we talk about things like fitness or things like family, those, th those things are definitely important and they are important in their own merits. That's the goal, to really excel in every area. I, r I rule in most rooms with successful entrepreneurs and they're just, they're, it's pathetic. They'll have like a before and after picture of their fitness shit and their after picture looks like their before pic. And I'm like, motherfucker, you're not embarrassed of this shit? Like, you have enough money, and that's what you put out. You're that big of a pussy. Like, I, I just can't get behind anything that's not done at a high level. So knock the one thing off the board first, then the next thing, then the next thing. Jados is ripped rich and rare. I mean, the whole thing, what's rare mean to me? It means no vices. It means no drugs, no alcohol, no bullshit. Not to hide behind nothing. I mean, what's rich? I mean, you get to do what the fuck you want. You don't, I don't need you to be a billionaire to say you're rich or other people, they'll see that even I rent my place. It's 95,000 a month. But they're like, you rent your Jesus place. Christ. It's like, you dumb motherfucker. You don't understand how, how to even operate at my level. People don't buy a $24 million house. They buy $24 million worth of properties that would bring them more money. You don't dump all that into that fucking liability and live in some $24 million pad you bought, stupid fucking make investments and you bring it back to this but everybody thinks they know some shit and if you don't have the results that i want some air man's coming off a little aggressive in my personal opinion and i'm not gonna lie in some arguments somebody could say like this is what toxic masculinity looks like and uh, to an extent i think it i think that's true i mean you don't have to necessarily be aggressive to get your point across and i also do think being intellectual with your words has a little more power and more weight to it like people will be better able to resonate with what you're saying if you're able to say it in a way that makes sense to everybody but when you're coming off like i don't know someone's aryan uncle it doesn't really feel it doesn't hold the same weight you know what i mean Aria, i can't fucking listen to you so most people i just i, I won't listen to them what are they going to tell me some motherfucker comes up to me at the gym and he's like Hey, you should do your push-ups like this. And I say, why? <laughs> so I can look like you, motherfucker? And the guy's like, oh, no, but like, it, it looks like you're going to hurt your... Shut the fuck up, dude. I, I'm end up with your chest if I do that shit. Why would I want that? Or these motherfuckers go in my comments and I like, I'll say some shit on purpose. I'm like, rent or buy. And if you ain't at the level to even do either of these, shut the fuck up and don't even participate. <laughs> and they just get mad. It's like, you're... You don't get to have an opinion if it's not an option for you. Oh, you don't get to say damn. my chick's a BBL and her fake tits aren't for you. You couldn't get her, you dumb motherfucker. <laughs> okay. Okay, there's a lot of eyes in here, right? 
granted, this conversation is about what defines men and what, what defines success for men. A lot of what he's saying is material. And this is where you start to lose the crowd. I mean, I, th I just think in general for any man who is focused on being successful, money is important. Don't get me wrong. Money is definitely important. Muscles are important too. But these two things aren't the only things exclusively that make a man a man or make a man successful. And when we talk about women with like BBLs and things of that nature, I can understand what he's saying, like, oh, you wouldn't be able to get her anyway. But to be completely honest, I, I do follow Wes Watson on uh, Instagram. and I do take a look at his uh, photos from time to time. And uh, listen, I'm not a hater. I'm in a relationship, very happy with it. But BBL, meh. When I see a woman with a BBL or a built body, I can just assume that she's very superficial. That's my assumption. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Um, but yeah, I just think that might be a little superficial. And to be quite honest, that's not someone I would want in my life anyway. I can understand him being slightly defensive, defending his woman when people are, you know, criticizing how she looks. But to say that you wouldn't be able to get her anyway, I think he's placing a little too much value on what she looks like and assuming that, you know, what she looks like automatically puts her in this echelon to where she's insanely exclusive. I mean, last time I checked, he was raising someone else's kids. You got a goddamn three. And that's the worst thing about these motherfuckers. They try to give you relationship advice. Motherfucker, you got a borderline Miami two. That's like a that's like a fucking Mississippi six. Like what the fuck are you talking about? Don't give me relationship advice to my ten when you got a two, motherfucker. Shut up. But this is this whole thing. People don't think I'm gonna put the measuring stick to their motherfucking face. They better just watch what they say around a motherfucker who's beating them in every area. And if someone is beating you, just ask them. Just be humble. Like, your bitch is better than mine. How'd you get her? That car's way more than mine. How'd you do it? You make more than me. What's up? Like, just fucking ask. And that's the thing. People aren't humble enough to ask. That's that's my shit. It's got to be across the board. You better have a bad bitch. You better be ripped. You better fucking be rolling some sick shit. That's what I like. I, I grew up hustling. There's be rims on my goddamn phantom. Go out front. That ain't, no, that ain't normal phantom. That's a mansory phantom. I don't have the normal shit. Fuck that. Chick's got upgrades. Done. Well said, Wes. God damn, with the fire. Shit. We got, we do what we do. We got, I, I, I've been watching Goldie's content. That's the reason. I've, I've been watching Goldie's content. He, he be getting me in trouble. My chick don't like his content. She's like, he's making too much sense. Shout out to Goldie. All right, what about you? Supposed to follow that up? <laughs> it's tough, right? Get him. It's tough. Well, hey, what you guys were saying earlier, I need to know what the fuck you said in English. All right, so... My definition of success will probably be far different than everybody else's on the panel. I'll probably maybe be the lone dissenter, but my definition of success is having a family, having children, and being part of the apparatus of the world. And true wealth is a rejection of materialism. As Christ said himself, what good does it benefit a man to gain the entire world at the cost of his soul? And the essentially <clears throat> that doesn't mean you need to be broke though i hear people say this fucking quote all the time and it gets on my nerves you know what really bothers me trad <laughs> let me not even go off like that what really bothers me is people that adhere to traditionalism quote unquote traditionalism so hard guys having a family is great let's let's get one thing out of the way, right? Having family is great. Both of what these guys are saying make sense, but my personal opinion, the truth lies somewhere in the middle. Now, granted, this video is talking about what does it mean to define a man and his success and things of that nature, um, but realistically, I'm also here for y'all to see Wes crash out. Now, me personally speaking, I don't know why, but it seems like Sometimes men that are in these spaces can be hyper aggressive, not to not to the extent of like they're doing great work, so they need to be that aggressive, but it almost comes off as though something is lacking. And what I find particularly interesting is that when this gentleman starts talking about family, it's almost as if something starts eating away at Wes. Again, just my assumption, maybe I'm wrong, but it just feels like something's starting to eat away at him. And this is probably a little telling as to why he ended up crashing out in the middle of this debate. When I think of wealth, I think of materialism. It's okay to have materialism. It's not against Christian ethics to become rich, become wealthy. But I just think it's all beside the point, ultimately. You're trying to go for a single thing, and it's to achieve something greater you have than money. the person. Does, does he have money? No. Does, do you have money? No. No, I don't have, I don't have, I don't have, have money. money. But, but here's the thing. Why is, why is money, money valuable? 
I'm a, just, do you have Why, money? What is money valuable for? I'm just asking, do you have money? I just thought, no. I'm broke. I'm a nobody. Like, really, you are? Yeah. Is he really broke? <laughs> yeah. I'm just, bro. <laughs> I just want to know. I have to know. No, I'm not. I'm not one of these rich guys. I don't have a Bugatti. I don't have a Lambo. I, don't I, have I just a really have to know. Like, how much money you got? Probably five. The five bucks in my pocket. Not much uh, more. See, does anyone, can anyone answer for the guy? <laughs> Why do they think I'm kidding? I have a family. I take care of an entire family. That's that takes a lot He's of doing money. All right. He's doing all right. Okay. But it's okay. <laughs> this is the thing. This is the thing, you guys. If you ain't fit, you can't say it's not all about being have being in good why, shape. Why not? If you don't have money, you can't say it's not all about money. Yeah, why not? If he does have money, he can say that. Why not? He why can't, can't you say it? Why must you have the thing? Because you, before you hang, hang on, hang on, hang on, let me ask the question. Because hypothetical is hypocritical. Let me ask the question. Hypothetical is hypocritical. I didn't even know what I was going to say before I've even been allowed I to ask the question. I know what you're going to say. Then what was I going to say? You're going to say, how? why can't you ask the question? Okay, so... That's not what I was going to say. What I was going to say is how in the world can you create a standard that it's inappropriate to ask some... Let's talk about fitness real quick. And again, going back to what uh, Wes was saying, yeah, muscles are important. They're, they're not... Listen, they're not as important as Wes's... I don't know, somebody with a nice car outside. Anyway, they're not as important as, as Wes is making it out to be. Like, they're not the antithesis of someone's success, right? Or a man's success in this case. But I gotta be honest, this gentleman here looks unhealthy. I'm not gonna lie. If, if I had to be honest, as a professional, as a professional personal trainer, I wrote a book on weight loss, I have a fitness app. In fact, if you're looking for personal training, feel free to go onto the website, go to www.fitarfitness.com. Feel free to download the app, you'll find it on the Apple App Store or on the Google Play Store. It is a $29.99 a month subscription. You get access to over 1,000 exercises, a whole host of workout programs, nutrition plans, and some blog content as well. Additionally, if you are looking for personal online personal training for fat loss specifically, there's a message function within the app itself where you could reach out to us and we'll get you started with personal training. But beyond all that, guys, yes, having a family is important, having money is important, but ultimately your health is the cornerstone of all these things. Without health, you can't have a family and without health, you can't make money. So in my personal opinion, this is where the truth lies. It's health first, then I think money is secondary, and then family would be third. Because to be quite honest with you, we have to earn the right to have a family. Like guys, being broke and having a family and thinking love is gonna keep y'all together while the both of you struggle to raise these children in a house you can't afford with bills that are going over your head, that is a recipe for divorce disaster. Don't set yourself up for that. It's much better, in my personal opinion, if you strive to make the money prior to then inviting the woman into your life and having a family if that's what you want. Somebody, how come if I don't have X thing, because I don't value X thing, does that mean X thing is actually valuable? You've never experienced it, so you can't speak about <laughs> you it. You think that I haven't experienced wealth? Even I, poor I people, was asking if you did. Even poor people experience days of wealth. I was they asking can, if you did. I, I people, don't know who you are. Even yeah, but even poor people experience days of wealth. And so the thing is, is no, no, definitely not. not. Definitely yeah, not. Def definitely, no, definitely so. Not. Definitely so. I've lived the lowest lows and the highest highs. Well, what's the, so? What's the distinction after you make X amount, hundreds of thousands of dollars? If you look at the studies done on this. It does not. I don't hugely, fit no fucking study. It does not bro. hugely improve a person's life. Are you proud of who the fuck bro, you are? Why, why, why well, look at, you are you proud? Kids? If you look in the mirror, would you guys say this motherfucker's proud of who the fuck he is? That's a bag of trash, dude. Pull your fucking shirt off. Because up. I've been. Tell him you're fucking proud. Because of yourself. I've been to fucking prison. Jesus Christ! <laughs> because look I've been at to you, prison. Bro. You got ten inch arms and tits. <laughs> Men don't have tits. No, guys. they go to prison where they get fucking Fuck yeah, they, they get do. raped up the ass. You've never been to prison. Look, <laughs> That's what happens. Shit you don't know. They go to prison. Uh, prison is not the vibe. <laughs> prison is not the vibe. If you are young and you're watching this, listen, do not go to prison thinking it's going to make you tough, all right? In fact, a lot of unhinged, emotionally uncontrollable men, or I guess I should say emotionally unstable men, often end up in jail. I mean, listen, not to get political here but growing up in the area that I did when I was younger and being around the demographic that I was around as a young Caribbean male I've seen what emotional instability looks like not only in women but in men too that's all I'm gonna say about that one let's let him give his his definition of success and then... having tits and ten inch arms let's, is what a man is let's let, him, let's let him please get his... don't listen to that Wes let's let him get his 
his thing out and then Tits. It, <laughs> we can have different opinions. Yeah. Tits. No. Anyway, back to where I was at. Boobs. Yeah. Okay. Prison. But anyway, if you want, <laughs> fuck, yeah, if you want to follow the successful mantra of a man who tells you he's reformed from prison, understand why they might have gone there to begin with. And well, to take yes, I do think I do think that a rejection of materialism what? is something missing in society, and I do think that true wealth is the family, and I think that true wealth is having a wife and true wealth. That is what I think it is, and that is what I think truly success is, is being able to go home and look your family in the face and know that you're doing everything you can to support them. That's and then when you go to the beach is. with your family, they're like, there's my stud dad right there standing there. Do you have that stud right there with you, his shirt off. Do you have children? Look at that stud. Do you, do you have children? I do have children. How many? I have two. You have two. So are you saying that your Bugatti and your money and everything and else is worth more than your children? Like, my dad's a superhero. Look what he brought to the table. Look how hard this guy works. He came from sure. nothing to this. Yeah. He works very, he works, he's, God Damn it! You're still whining. Stop whining. <laughs> that, that and just is a make an product. Argument. <laughs> Yo. So okay. In conclusion, um, this has gone long enough. <laughs> um, if you want to watch the full video in its entirety, I'll go ahead and put the full video in the description. Um, but gentlemen, this this is my point. Listen, if, and also feel free to continue to watch the rest of this and watch Wes crash out if that's really what you want. But guys, the reason why I I decided to react to this video was particularly because of the conversation, but also because in my personal opinion, I think we have to earn the right to have a family. Like, yes, did society kind of like convince us that we have to go through these, you know, normal milestones that everyone deems as things we need in society, like graduating school, going to college, things of that nature. Yes, for all intents and purposes, for society's sake, these are the things that we must follow through and do. But to some degree, to some extent, wouldn't it make sense to try and be as loaded as humanly possible as far as money is concerned to be able to take care of your family? Now, granted, Wes is taking care of two stepchildren. It is what it is. But there is some validity in what he's saying. At least he does have the money to give them the best experience possible. I can respect what this gentleman was saying in regards to saying, you know, you can go home, look your family in the face and, you know, feel good that you're doing the best you can. But that sounds a little nearsighted in my personal opinion. I mean, if you're gonna have a family, if you're literally going to bring people into this world, doing the best you can, in my personal opinion, just does not sound like it's cutting it. Um, maybe this is based off of how I was raised. You know, I, I was raised in a lower middle class family of immigrant parents, you know, trying to do the best we can. And I think personally, to some extent, I definitely suffered through my development because the best from my parents' perspective was very subjective. You know, what is the best when the bare minimum is simply clothes food, making sure they have a place to sleep and make sure they go to school and see a doctor. Those I think are the bare minimums and ironically enough, immigrant parents like to tote those as the best they can do. But I guess in this case, it differs depending on where your family is originated from. All I'm saying here is I think health is the most important thing. Without health, you cannot create wealth. And without wealth, you cannot have a sustainable family. I mean, again, just take a look at the data. We'll see all the divorces and a majority of them start from what reason? Lack of finances. So that's my opinion. Again, if you want to watch Wes crash out, I'll leave the full video in the uh, description below. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. I mean, honestly, at this age now, like I'm 30 turning 31, and I know for myself, there are some times where I have these battles within me where it's like, mm, maybe I would want to consider having a family, or maybe I'd be better off just continuously focusing on my endeavors to ensure that I have enough money in order to make sure that happens. Obviously, time is the ultimate dictator for these things, but I'm curious to hearing what you got to say. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate your viewership. I appreciate your engagement. If you fuck with the video, share it, share it with your homies. Start the conversation within your own inner circle as well. Don't forget to check out one of these videos here. Check out the links below. <laughs> My fault, I'm getting tongue tied. You know, when you start doing all that YouTube shit, but anyway, check out the links, check out the, uh, the fitness app, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.